of sunshine you can see now. And the Fulham goal mouth bathed in sunshine. There's a little flicked header and then an overhead kick. It went just over the uh, crossbar. A one year, I think, but a uh, little flicked header. And he's, uh, despite a crowded six yard box, which is just outside, he's managed to get the uh, bicycle kick. He just went to ground, managed to hook it back over his head and uh, thankfully cleared the crossbar, Jamie. But, uh, and, uh, Needless to say, he threw it about five yards. Kind of the commentator. It was a short throw, but they played it into the box. Ryder appealing for a goal. The referee has given offside. an offside, I think. I couldn't see the linesman down this near side. The flag went up. It was touch and go, really. I was just waiting for the referee to check his watch because it was very hard to save from here. They took the short throw this time, and it's the first one that's actually... Well, it certainly causes more problems than any of the long ones. It was Olaraina with a cross in. There was a little flicked header towards goal. Then it was turned for Leno, I think. But Leno kept it out. Chris Wood, it was maybe who tapped it in. But there is an offside. He looked clearly offside from the still that we're looking at. But then I thought that uh, about Newcastle's goal last week, and it was still given. Wood's right arm looks offside as well. Yeah, and he's the player on the six yard line for he's me he's definitely off isn't he yeah and he headed the ball back across goal yeah so i think this is going to be ruled out there's two forest players i think it was chris wood who eventually turned it into it's the offside net. jim yeah yeah but leno i think did keep it out and then when it was knocked into uh, the net at the second attempt it was an offside but uh not no forest nil fulham nil well, Wood's dangerous. He's one of those underrated players. Yeah, his goal uh, ratio is uh, always fairly healthy and particularly good this season. As Raul gets his shot away, we've got a pillar from uh, holding up the roof of this stand that certainly took a uh, block my view there. But it was Raul from inside the uh, penalty area. He got the angled shot towards the near post as we look, which we can't really see. But, but straight at the keeper, I think we went down. Matt Sells made the save Emil Smith wrote a Dharma into the path of Kenny Tetty the cross is blocked but only partially blocked he's still going gets it into the box Raul couldn't get there Smith Rowe does the shots blocked a Dharma with the shot and it goes it's wide but off a forest player it's going to be a corner look at Nuno again outside his technical area yeah they're still giving out about the uh, challenge at the other end they felt they should have had a penalty they're still having a go at the referee He's only just got back on his feet, in fairness. Tayo, the one year, I didn't think it was a penalty, but then I don't suppose I would. Joachim Anderson let him get the wrong side. I think they've both gone to the ball. And then Calvin Bassey has put his arms out towards Elliot Anderson. I think he's just landed awkwardly on the uh, cheek of his backside, to be honest. Seemed like an awful lot of money. Yeah, as you say, buying potential. Yeah, I mean, they bought an awful lot of players, but here's Iwobi for Fulham. Finds Anthony Robinson. Well, Andreas goes down inside the box. Oh, and he's in real trouble. Seems to be in a lot of pain, the referee. Well, hasn't stopped the game particularly. I think it went out of play anyway, but he's just holding his, uh, his left ankle. And the Forest player's getting hold of it and yanking it for him. I'm not sure that's going to no. help but judging by the uh, reaction and response of players from both sides, this could be a, a nasty injury. They look, you normally tell from the response of players, Jamie, they look a bit concerned and they, uh, yeah, his legs twist. It's not a foul, to be fair. I think Murillo was the closest Forest player, but unless I'm mistaken, I don't think he might have just given him a little push. Or did he tread on his ankle? I think he oh, did, Oh, maybe he did. Looking at, yeah, there's a replay now up on the big screen. He maybe just trod right on his ankle. Yeah, you could see that. I'm not sure this isn't a penalty. Look well, at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, he's trod on him. He's done damage, that's for sure. And there's a referee even considering it, though. It's, there is a VAR appeal, I think. You could tell by the, his body shape, Andreas, when he went, that I just thought he'd really twisted his ankle badly. But he kind of went out of shape altogether, didn't he, momentarily? And uh, was clearly in a lot of pain. You could tell from the other players' reactions that it's they a could penalty, surely. see something. He's yeah. got to look at it, and this is a penalty. 
Well, he is going across to look at it. Josh Smith, well, it could be. Who's the VAR, Jim? Who is it? It's uh, John Brooks. Well, surely he's got to be saying this is a spot kick. Yeah, because as I say, when you see the replay, the big screens are hanging from the roof. They're not ideal for us. We've got nothing down in front of us. I thought initially maybe he just gave him a little push. He's got to point to the spot. Yeah, because to be fair, there's a push in the back anyway that, that you could possibly deem a foul. And then if the ankle injury is because he's stamped on him, it's a double whammy. I thought he maybe just gave him a little push and then Andreas, you know, studs stuck in the turf or something and he twisted his ankle. But as you say, looking at that, he's... How can he not give a penalty here? Well, he got turned over at home against West Ham. I thought that was a stone bonking penalty as well when uh, Triori was pushed, but... Well, he's yep. given it. He has it's given a it. Definite pen. And it hasn't gone down to particularly well with the Forest fans, or uh, or indeed there. And he's got a book in. He's got the yellow card out, and it is Murillo. So he goes in the referee's book. We have a penalty. I imagine Raul is going to take it, but uh, there's a conflag because I think uh, Andreas will want to take it. Second yellow card for Nottingham Forest. I'm not sure that should go to VAR. I'm not necessarily sure it is a penalty, you know, not in the game that I grew up watching. But you look at the laws of the game now, Jim, and that is a definite penalty. And the referees had a good long look at it. Forest aren't happy, but it's got to be given. And it's Raul who's going to take it. The goalkeeper very reluctant to uh, retreat back to his goal line. He's on the six yard at the moment he's trying to his utmost to uh, make a meal of it Matt sells well Raul we saw him score two exemplary penalties against Preston in the Carabao Cup let's hope he can uh, do the trick again and put Fulham in front from the uh, from the spot hands on hips he won't be faced and up he steps a little uh, shimmy and it's in, it's a lovely finish, and the Fulham fans behind the goal can celebrate with Raul. They can boo all they like, but uh, it's 1-0 to Fulham. It's Raul's fourth goal of the season already. And again, Jamie, cool as cucumber. We saw what he did in the, uh, the shootout up at Preston. But he's been there, seen it, and done it, as I say, at uh, international level. He's not going to be put off. Andreas Pereira, I think, is upset that he didn't get the opportunity to take the no, penalty. No, don't get involved. He's uh, now rowing. He needs to just calm down. He wants to get back on the pitch. Well, they uh, made him walk round by the Forest fans, Jim, and they were giving him absolute pelters. Yeah. He had to leave the pitch, I suppose. He's back on now, Andreas. Crazy. They're singing 1-0 to the referee. Well, Murillo did it. Andreas didn't just go down, did he? There was clearly connection to Bernd Leno. And here's Joachim Anderson. Forward for uh, Adama. He was at full stretch and he's inadvertently turned it into the path for Chris Wood. Now Anthony Alanga. Great, great block from Calvin Bassey. Alanga goes down. Get up, you. Absolute cheat. And staying down. Look. Unbelievable. This uh, Hudson Adoy play goes on. The referee's not interested. Hudson Adoy working his way into the box onto his right foot. He goes over the bar. Well, he should be ashamed of himself, Anthony Alanga, Jamie. It's, it really gets you down. It's a great bit of defending from Calvin Bassey. There's no foul there at all. He just wants to cheat his way to a penalty because we got one. And then he's got the, the audacity to stay down as if he's, he's injured. He just flung himself over Calvin Bassey. Reese Nelson's coming on. I get Sander Berger on, Jim. We're being overrun in midfield. Look at this. And then clutching his ankle. Look, he's just flung himself over Calvin Bassey's leg. It's embarrassing. Well, it is. What is he doing? He should be booked for being in. Well. 
Left hand side of the penalty area, heading for the byline. He got the cross in, it's gone uh, right through the penalty area. Lukic gets there though for Fulham, right hand side. Good burst forward from him. And now Kenny Tetti carrying it into the box onto the left foot, drills it against Murillo. Alex Awobi picks up the loose ball, feeds it for Rao. Oh, oh he's tried to place it in the far corner. They were waiting for the flag to go up for the offside. It never did. And he's almost caught the goalkeeper wrong footed there, Rao. He just went uh, wide of the far post as we look. They felt he was offside, but he wasn't. I think it was Odraina away on the opposite side of the penalty area that was playing him on. But in the end, the shot angled to beat the keeper, but uh, wide of the far post. They're going to make another substitution shortly, I think. Ramon Sosa, Jota, finds Hudson Adoy, floats it into the box. Good Great header covering. away by Anthony Robinson, kept his eye on it all the way. And then the volley on target. Took it on the volley, Jota Silva, but uh, straight at Bernd Leno, who was perfectly positioned behind it all the way. It's a shot on target, but uh, good header away in the first instance by Anthony Robinson. I think maybe Kenny Tetty then got the second header. The volley straight back at uh, Bernd Leno. And as I say, if we did see it through and take three points away from here, it'd be a great result. It really would, yeah. And it will be deserved on the balance of play in this second half. Here we go again. Kenny Tetti's got round Murillo, good strength. And he's gone down with a shove in the back as he would. The referee's looking directly at it. And again, he's made the call that uh, there's no foul there. They seem to get away from him, Kenny, but I thought there could have been a shove in the back. And now Moreno has given it to Alex Awobi looking to switch it infield towards Raul it's headed away this time Ryan Yates did he run it out of play for a corner no but his ball forward falls nicely for Calvin Bassey took it on his chest and goes for goal left footed strike there from 30 yards or so from Calvin wasn't that far away sweetly struck on the run I think it's worth an effort from there Jim the last thing you want to do is get caught out of play so he's or out of position he's gone for a goal and as you say, the keeper probably would have got it, but uh, it was well struck. Yeah, maybe taken him by surprise. Wasn't sure. I don't think that uh, centre-half was 